Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here on Bally Spring. So I'm just heading down to the farm right now to go and speak to Dad to see what he wants to go and do. So let's just go and park our lovely Land Rover up at the house. And see what needs to be done. There we go. Alright, so let's go and speak to Dad and see what he wants us to do. Hello Dad. Right, so yeah, more than happy for us to go and do that um, mowing today. So, field 253. Perfect. Um, and also a bit of millet harvesting, so we can happily go and do that for Dad. So let's go and do that. It's a beautiful day for an August morning. Oh, here's the trap there. It looks like Dad's been sent up for us this morning. Because I think he said he wanted to make sure the moors were on the right settings. I might need to double check because... Just good to always double check before you go and do stuff. So let's turn it on. And as you heard Dad say, he wants 253 done. So we're going to do that field. Because in the last episode, we did a bit of harvesting. Um, which was good, but I don't think we made very much money off of it. According to our field data, we only made about £3,000 off of it. Which is still a decent amount of money, but... From what I, was used to be, what I was used to be making on the farm, it's not very much. I mean, I was making on average about 20000 a field. But that's because we we're uh, rich farmers, we'll call it. For the area anyway. Okay, that doesn't matter. Uh, yep, there we go. That's better. So let's unfold it. And let's get it put down. And let's get it started up. And then we'll do maybe half a headland. And then I'll get it onto a montage. So let's see. Is that Yeah, that's better. The swaths are a pain, so having it like that's way better for the tether and wind drawer because this is going to be some hay anyway. So, because that's right, the cows have run out of hay, so we definitely need to make more. But yeah. Nice long grass this, and hopefully we'll be getting a decent yield actually. I think if we open our phone up here, it should give us some information. Yep, there you go. It's quite a nice green colour that. Oh, just clip the hedge there. No, very good. So what I'll do is I'll get this onto a montage and I'll see you when it's done. finished and um, so we need to go and ted the field now because of course we're making this into some hay so we're going to ted it and then we'll need to windrow it bale it and then we can move on to doing a bit of harvesting or something maybe 
But it's almost 8 o'clock in the morning, so not too bad for time. We've got plenty of time anyway. We'll just use this track there for most of the work anyway today. So let's go and find the wind drawer. Not the wind drawer, sorry. The tether, which is in this shed just over here, I believe. So let's go and hook up to that. Well, once I get around the corner, right, there we go. From what I remember, it's quite a decent sized wind, eh, not wind drawer, I keep calling it a wind drawer, sorry, tether. It's a decent sized tether we've got here, so. We should get it done quite quickly. And I do hope you're all enjoying these videos, and I'm considering actually doing a series on an American map. I'm not sure yet because I haven't really done a series on an American map before, so be a big learning curve. Because I would want to use the right machinery for the area, so. I mean, I've already, I've actually been playing in my free time on Al Alma, Missouri. I've played about 20 hours on that now, so it's, it's a lovely wee map, that. Oh, I say wee, but it's quite a big map. And I've... I own quite a lot of land on there, so I might consider doing a series on Animal Missouri if I get into it more. And you never know. Of course, I can never do a time lapse on there because the time lapse would be too long, but I could do a few montages and all that sort of stuff. So, if you think we should do a series on Animal Missouri, please do comment down below and let me know what your opinion is. Anyways, this seems to be working well, so what I think we'll do is we'll get us onto a good old time lapse and I'll see you when it's done. Tonight we are running on the right track. I know we never got I said the last little bit, just that little bit there, and now we are going to go and hook up to the wind drawer and get the field wind road. And then I can move on to the baling, and then we'll be good to go. And then I may ask Dad to come and pick the bales up off the field, since he doesn't have very much to be doing at the minute. He just seems to sit inside the house most of the time, so I'm sure we could get him doing some of the work. Right. Let's get this put in here. I do also need to do a bit of uh, cultivating at some point, or disc, discing or whatever you call it. Um, so I may need to do that very soon because I would like to put some wheat or barley in in the field in September time. I believe you normally do it, so we really do need to make sure we're organised so we're making the most money. Because if you're not organised, you're not making money basically. So, let's get hooked up to the wind drawer. There we go. It really won't take us long to do this. And we'll get this on the good old time lapse as well. And I would like to say Court Farms live streams will be returning very soon. Because I'm pre-recording this, so this is all in... I'm ugh, I'm recording this in 2023, currently. But it'll be coming out, I believe, this episode on the 3rd of January, this one. So... Court Farms, I'm not sure, but... I'll give you an update closer to the time on my community page on the YouTube. And I would just like to say a big thank you to everyone for... Um, Get me over 500 subscribers. I know I've said it a few times, but I'd just like to say it again. Um, if it wasn't for you, my dream wouldn't have come true of having a decent YouTube channel and um, having some lovely fans. So I do really appreciate it. And we are getting very close to our goal of 3,000 watch hours. We're currently at 2,300. 
So I'm sure with a, a few good videos we could get there and then that means I can bring out merchandise and um, memberships and uh, super thanks or whatever you call them. So if any of that interests you please do keep watching the videos and help me grow the channel and then um, potentially in the future I could release some of that stuff. So, of course I don't expect any of you to buy merchandise or buy membership, but if any of you do, that would be very nice of you when it comes around to that time. Anyways, this seems to be working very well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this on a good old time lapse and I'll see you when it's done. We've got all the hay windrowed, so now we've just got to go and bale it up, which hopefully won't take too long, but as you can see the swaths are quite thick, so we're going to get lots of bales off of it. And that's the good thing about that new mower set and that uh, Dad changed, well I changed, sorry. Um, because it's not already swaths, it means the swaths can be bigger when we come to windrow it. So that's good. And then... Right, so, ugh. once we're done this, um, we've got to go and do a bit of harvesting, which is fine, but harvesting after a while can get a bit boring, so I'll just have to watch what we do, because I only get totally bored of harvesting to the point where I don't want to do it, but it's a good thing for the farm, because we need the money from the harvesting, so. And we've still got field beans, which will be ready in about a month or two. The field beans so that'll be good anyways let's take this to the field and let's get bailing well if i'm not stuck on the walls i'll see you in a minute at the field all right so i've unstuck myself from the wall i'm here at the field so let's get bailing and let's see how many bells we can create because we got as i said a lot of hay since i changed that setting on the moor i mean there's our first bale already There we go. So hopefully we'll get many bales because we need many bales for the winter time. As well as straw, which hopefully we'll get off of the millet fields because I believe millet produces straw. So we do really need some straw for the cows. And that reminds me, I also need to put some slurry on our grass fields at some point. Um, because slurry is much cheaper to use than a mineral fertilizer, so we may as well use it if we have it. Since I think we've got about 30,000 litres worth of slurry from the cows, which is very good. So yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll get us onto a good old montage and I'll see you when it's done. Things change. 
back to onto our last swath now and you know what I've been really getting to the rhythm of using this baler now and I'm really enjoying it now, as you can see we've made lots of hay sorry not our last swath we've got another two swaths over there to do but they're small ones anyway so but yeah we've got lots of bales so I'll need to count them up so we can tell dads how many bales we've created today so he can work out if we've got enough hay for the winter time probably not because you can never have enough hay because the cows just seem to go through it like mad so I'll need to tell dad the numbers and see what he thinks but we've got tons of grass fields so if we need to make more hay we can But yeah, I think we've done pretty well off of this field. So we'll need to make sure we lime and fertilize it again because that is how we got the amazing yield. I got Dad to go and lime and fertilize this field and it did really well. Because we've, we've only ever mowed this and then put the grass into the pit. So we've never actually really known how many bells we could get off of it. Oh, this is a good idea. We'll pick all this up because it looks an absolute mess. There we go. A bit tidier. Actually, I think what I'll do is I'll leave the baler in here because we're going to need the baler again. So it'll be closer to that field there because that's what we're going to be doing with the baler next is uh, picking up all the straw after the combine has harvested that field. All right, let's just get this in here. And then we'll just go and get the grain trailer. So that's what I'll do. I'll go and head around and get the grain trailer. All right, so I've brought the grain trailer around. It's just parked over there. And as you can see, we've got our uh, moisture tester thing out. And it is saying we are going to roughly get an 89% yield, which is pretty good out of 100%. But I think it's actually more than 100% nowadays. But yeah, it also tells us this field needs to be ploughed at some point, And we should have rolled it, but we totally forgot to roll it. So we'll do that next time. Um, but yeah, sandy loam, you don't get the best yield out of that. So I think it's actually the worst yield you can get. I think loam's a much better one. Anyways, let's get this. I don't know if it's unfolded. It seems to be. So let's just turn it on and uh, get started. Let's make sure it's... Oh, so we can actually make straw for this. That's a shame because we were needing the straw. I'm hoping that we can get a decent yield out of it because we really are needing... Um the straw and we need a good yield sorry I was thinking of the wrong thing there we really do need some extra money because as you can we really do need the extra money sorry um because I've only got eleven thousand pounds sitting in the bank right now which is all right but when you've got a two hundred and fifty thousand pound loan to pay off which um is the loan that me and dad had to take out to buy all the extra land that we would need um, we've got that amount of money to pay off. It's not a lot of money in the, sitting in the bank. And if I remember right, I think Dad said he wanted to store this crop until it's a better price, which is a smart idea because uh, I had a wee look myself on the phone and um, yeah, he's right. The price is about £500 less than it would be if we were to sell it in the winter time. So we'll wait till the winter time and then we'll sell it off and uh, hopefully that'll give us a decent amount of money sitting in the bank anyways that's the first headland so I think what we'll do is we'll get this onto a good old time lapse and I'll see when it's done Yeah. 
is us finished and you know what we haven't done too well I thought we could do much better but if we pull our phone out in a minute we can have a look um, how much they reckon our field of crop is worth I mean they just take a rough guess it's just some app on our phone that tells us so we could get more or less so while well, that's doing that let's have a look here we are Ooh, our phone's just taking a minute to load right so um from these two fields alone it reckons or is that just the one no the two it reckons we've made five thousand and eighty four pounds which is all right but i feel like we could have done better so hopefully next time we can do better and we might actually put a better crop in because millet it doesn't seem to be a very good yielding crop and to be fair it's not the best soil type around here so anyways we'll leave the combine there we'll jump into the fiat and we'll take it round. and that really didn't take us long to do so i might even go and start stacking the bales to save dad having to do it it'll be nice and i'll do it myself or should i just make him do it ah no we'll do it ourselves and you never know, we might even get on to doing a bit of slurry spreading, but we'll wait and see because there's a lot of jobs that need to be done. Um, I do need to get cultivating done, which is actually, I don't know if that's more important than getting the hay in, because if the hay gets wet, then that's bad, so. So let's get this tipping. Hopefully, there we go. Lovely. According to this, we seem to have 5,577 litres of manure in here, which I don't know why we would. But yeah, as you can see, we've got less millet than we did of the peas. So we're definitely not going to be doing those two crops again. Because um, if we pull our phone out, it tells us what crops are available in the area. Um, I'm considering doing rye, but I don't think rye is a very good yield in. I mean, wheat is probably, wheat or barley is probably one of the best ones if you're wanting a decent yield. From what I've heard though, people who do maize crops, they get an amazing yield. I mean, that's not grain or anything, but because they're doing it for the grass, but from what I've heard, they get an amazing yield off of that. So imagine if we did something like that, or even corn. I don't know if corn is really grown in the west of Ireland, but from uh, experience on Allen, Missouri, we seem to have a lot of corn, so. I think alone, on Allen, Missouri, I made about 700,000 litres of corn, so. That is a lot of corn. Anyways. Uh, let's hook up to the bale trailer. So, because we need to go and get these bales loaded up. And then I'll come and get the tail handler in a minute. We'll get them loaded up. We'll get them put in the shed. And hopefully that'll last us a month or two. And then we can make some more. Or I can make more as well. If I need to. Right, so we'll park over here. Right, what I'll do is I'll get the tail handler. And then I'll get this onto a time lapse. So see you when we've picked all these bales up. Right, so long story short, um, I've ended up losing the clip of me doing the time lapse, so I'm having to um, just finish the video here. So if you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe and there's a comment down below what you think of this series so far. And if you like to join any of my socials, they're linked below this video. And if you like to share this video with anyone else, I'd appreciate that as well. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.